This video covers basic operations of the AirPack X3 Pro SCBA. To begin operation, reach behind you and rotate the cylinder valve handwheel counterclockwise. When the SCBA is pressurized, the pass will turn on automatically and will emit a three-tone chirp. In addition, the VibraLert End of Service Time Indicator, or EOSTI, will activate and the lights of the heads-up display will initialize. With the regulator's red purge knob in the 12 o'clock position, connect the regulator to the face piece by aligning the flats of the regulator with the flats of the docking port. Then, rotate the regulator counterclockwise. The EasyFlow Plus and EasyFlow C5 regulators are designed for first breath activation. Take a breath, and air will begin flowing. If you're using the EasyFlow Plus regulator, make sure that the air saver switch is properly engaged prior to pressurizing the SCBA. Similarly, if you're using the EasyFlow C5 regulator, make sure the auto air saver is fully engaged by pulling forward on the latch until you hear and feel a click. The HUD operation is defined by a series of lights on the regulator, which indicate the amount of air remaining in the SCBA cylinder. Two green lights indicate greater than 75% cylinder pressure. One green light indicates 50 to 75% cylinder pressure. A flashing amber light indicates 35 to 50% cylinder pressure. A flashing red light indicates less than 35% cylinder pressure and is accompanied by the activation of the VibraLert EOSTI. The AirPack X3 Pro includes a console that provides pass and air pressure status notifications through a series of LEDs. During normal operation, the middle LED will flash green. If the pass device activates or air pressure drops below 35%, the outer LEDs will flash in an alternating red pattern. The console also features an external heads-up display, which changes color based on the remaining air supply in the cylinder, following the same color sequence of the HUD on the mask-mounted regulator. If your AirPack X3 Pro is equipped with the SIMS 2 Pro Wireless SCBA telemetry system, a separate status light in the shape of an antenna icon will display green when the SCBA is within range of the base station, or flash amber if it is out of range. If you are using the Vision C5 face piece, the regulator also includes an external heads-up display that mirrors the light status of the HUD on the inside of the mask-mounted regulator. A green light indicates greater than 50% cylinder pressure. An amber light indicates 35 to 50% cylinder pressure. A red light indicates less than 35% cylinder pressure. The sensor module on the rear of the AirPack X3 Pro is also equipped with dual buddy lights on either side of the sensor module. During normal operation, the lights will flash green once every three seconds when cylinder pressure is above 50%. They will flash yellow twice each second when cylinder pressure is between 35% and 50%, and they will flash yellow alternately when cylinder pressure is below 35%. If the pass device activates, the lights will flash red in an alternating pattern for pass pre-alarm and flash red simultaneously for pass full alarm. To help minimize false alarms, the AirPack X3 Pro also incorporates a pass pre-alarm notification in both the EasyFlow Plus and EasyFlow C5 regulator HUD. In both models, during pre-alarm activation, the HUD lights will toggle in an alternating pattern. When cylinder pressure drops below 35%, the AirPack X3 Pro will provide multiple alarm notifications. The VibraLert alarm will activate, which provides a tactile vibration of the regulator on your face, as well as an audible alert. In addition, the HUD on the mask-mounted regulator will flash red. The external HUD on the EasyFlow C5 will show a red light. The console LED lights on the X3 Pro will flash red. And the rear sensor module lights on the X3 Pro will flash red simultaneously. To help preserve the battery life of your AirPack X3 Pro, it is important to shut the system down properly. First, close the cylinder valve handwheel by pushing in and rotating clockwise. Rotate the regulator purge knob counterclockwise to bleed the SCBA of remaining air. Turn off the electronics by pressing the yellow reset button twice. Then, remove the cylinder.
on SCBA configured with a snap change connection. The cylinder latches cannot be pulled to disengage the cylinder until all the air pressure has been bled from the system. Once all the air pressure is released, open the cylinder strap retaining latch. Disengage the cylinder by pulling on both snap change latches at the same time. If your cylinder has a CGA threaded connection, unscrew the high pressure coupling to remove it from the cylinder valve. When properly maintained, the 3M Scott Airpack X3 Pro SCBA can provide years of reliable service. For additional instructions on use and maintenance, refer to the operating and maintenance instructions provided with your unit. For the complete quick start video guide, be sure to watch all the videos in this series. For any additional questions, please contact 3M Scott Tech Support at 1-800-247-7257 or send email to scotttechsupport at mmm.com.